Have you ever wondered how game studios capture that perfect character movement, making it feel like the character has soul? Welcome, my name is Harvey Newman and I'm here in collaboration with Autodesk to bring you guys a course, small course, on motion capture, what it goes on behind the scenes at AAA Studios to get that polished animation that they get in most AAA Studios. I realized over time that unfortunately there's a lot of like secrecy and people don't know exactly what goes behind the scenes and even though there's a lot to cover and we only have a few episodes I'm gonna try and actually unveil some of the stuff that happens behind the scenes to hopefully empower you especially for those that are trying to get the most of their animation quality out of their mocap or their animations for their game. Games. Um, we all know how games go, we have short deadlines, we're trying to add as many animations as possible and there's no better tool out there than motion capture to get you to achieve that goal. So we're gonna have a few segments, a few topics that we absolutely need to cover and even though this course is about five episodes or so that I'm gonna try to cover a lot of things and it's gonna be incredibly condensed but the whole idea here is to hopefully get you guys to learn as much as possible in the shortest amount of time. Now, I do understand that entertainment and learning go incredibly well together. So I'm going to try and make this series as entertaining as possible for you guys. So what are some of these key segments that we're going to cover in this course? So the first question that we have to answer in this course is going to be what is motion capture really? And we need to do this because there's film, there's VFX and there's games and each industry uses motion capture differently and we need to understand exactly what does this mean for games specifically and what are some of the steps that we're going to have to take to get that motion capture to look as good as possible plus you as a developer why should motion capture matter to you why not hand key instead of motion capture what's the benefits the pros the cons all of the stuff that basically leans you towards choosing either motion capture or hand key. Believe me, there is a choice there. It depends on the project, it depends on the style, a bunch of other questions. But one thing's for sure, you need to actually have the information before you answer those questions. So that is the first thing that we're gonna answer here in this course. We also need to talk about the basic setup of motion capture. And what do I mean by that? Well, there is different setups for motion capture depending not only on the project that you have but also the budget that you have and the uh, needs for your game and much, much more. And I'm going to talk about some of the options that you have in the industry and some of the tooling that you need to get those options to look as good as possible. After all, the smaller the budget, the more you're going to have to work on your motion capture to get it to look as good as possible. And this will require different tooling than if you actually were to pay the big bucks to get the best quality possible. So we're going to make sure to cover that. So the third thing that we need to focus here is something that I like to call motion capture in action. And that is showcasing the process of motion capture. So we're going to actually cover how it is to actually go to a mocap shoot, how it is to direct the actors, and ultimately how it is to actually clean up that data depending on the quality of the data that we get back. So you understand the process of what happens after we clean up that mocap. We also will cover how motion capture fits the big picture. And by that I mean, when you actually have motion capture, there's a lot of things that happen behind the scenes and studios use it in different ways to create big games, small games, and most importantly, storytelling and much, much more. So how can a tool like motion capture fit within the studio wants and needs and ambitions in order to make sure that you get the most bang for buck? After all, motion capture is incredibly expensive. And even if you were to get an indie friendly version that doesn't cost very much, you're still talking about thousands of pounds. So how can you actually make sure that you have all the information needed in order to make that purchase in a way that is informed and is good for you and for your studio. And lastly, we are gonna cover real world examples of motion capture. I'm gonna bring people into the course so they can actually attest to how they use the mocap and how beneficial it is to them. Um, and also give you hopefully examples on why maybe it would be useful to you as well. So this is gonna be an amazing course. So I hope you are as excited as I am to actually get going with this course. 
there's a lot that we have to cover in a very short period of time. So I'm going to go over here, switch on my computer and get started. Join me.